Hello everybody. In this video, I want to get really excited about doing some Furby hacking. While on the Discord chat, we it was mentioned that, hey, the Furby boom is hackable and in quite a few ways. One of them is Open Furby. Open Furby is basically an onboard Linux computer. What you basically do is uh, you can swap out the eyes with these absolutely creepy as fuck OLED eyes that can display whatever images that you want to put on them. They're basically an SPI display. They added back the touch sensors, but they're not using the original electronics. They're not using the original display. But, I mean, we're pretty much just putting Linux inside of already existing hardware. I mean, you know, that's nothing wrong with that. That excites me. That's getting me my EP hard. But... I want to know a little bit more about, you know, after playing with the Furby, you might have noticed I've gotten really excited about what it was natively capable of doing. So, I went ahead and I looked up the, um, the patent for the Furby. Now, of course, this doesn't look like the 2012 Furby boom, because this is, they, they pretty much use an older, you know, like, this is, this is just a pre-patent, you know, they haven't actually designed the damn thing yet. So... What really interests me, and later on, uh, we're going to go to my really shitty uh, 800 by 600 microscope. Uh, it's the best I can do. I'm sorry I'll, I'll, I'll make do. But what really interests me is um, the behaviors. Like, it, I'm, I, as soon as I picked up Furby, I started noticing that there are, like, Boolean expressions starting to come out of it. And that was really interesting. So here's the primary schematic. You know, let's just... Uh, check out some of the what's going on we've got the the a serial in serial out ee prom which makes me think it's i squared c we've got a rom that's feeding directly into data and address lines okay we have a motor driver an optical optical encoder and i know what all of this is for already these are to drive the little bouncy feet in his face the opto encoder is to uh, sense the eyes we have a speaker so he can talk uh, voltage regulator, tilt switch, a microphone with a bit bit of, you know, filtering. Um, but that's not what really interested me. We'll, we'll get back to that in a second. Going down to about page 20, we can start seeing things about story mode, joke mode, love mode, how are you mode, sleep response, general random tables. Interesting. You know, there's there's some stuff that we might actually actually be able to do here just simply on an ultrasonic level. So we have, you know, basic gameplay flow chart, its power-up sequence, and Furby to Furby mode on page 38 has me very interested. And the reason that has me interested is uh, because it turns out that it, uh, someone wound up reverse engineering um, the Furby ultrasonic protocol. And wound up writing the Haxby library for it. So we now have Perl scripts so we could acoustically talk to and listen to Furbies. So that's really interesting. And I noticed um, there's Michael Coppola's blog. And when I say someone goes balls deep, this guy went balls deep and then gave it an extra 10 inches and said, sweetie, I still got more. I mean, he went all the way down to reverse engineering the Android app, doing the ultrasonic comms, even decapping the the mask ROMs. Jesus Christ, man. Hardcore reverse engineering uh, on his level. Mad respect. But I have one question. Why has nobody thought about messing around with the onboard EE prom contents? The same EE prom contents that are on page, like right here, the EE prom, serial in, serial out, SPI maybe? I mean, everything on the FURB so far says I squared C, but this guy, he, he really went crazy. Absolutely crazy. I, I'm going to put a link in the, in the description to his work. And he did an hour reverse engineer. Holy shit, his GitHub uh, a repo has so many data sheets on the thing and programming guides, but nothing about that EE prom. Like, why has, has nobody talked about that? So for a second, I just want to go into its onboard 
microcontroller. The original Furby, if I remember correctly, was uh, a 6502 core. And that's basically what this thing is. It has a bit more RAM, a bit more power, a bit more I.O. This ICE, um, they have this like in-circuit emulation that's their own proprietary debugger. It's really hard to find the debug cable for, and chances likely it's been disabled anyway. But I have noticed that on the Furby itself, on the side of his head, there's an I2C port that no one's touched at all. I mean, really, I can go through this data sheet for an, an hour alone. So we know the audio driver. We know the power amplifier. Pulse width modulator amplifier with audio mixer. Audio driver. The 16-bit LCD controller. Um, we're going to get into all of this in a second. But what, all right, so here's, uh, here's the main board. And uh, right over to here to the side, it's blocked in this picture. So here you can see the original 4 meg. This has the voice data for the voice in the eyes. And I'm still not sure what this guy does, but we'll, we'll figure it out. You know, e even going down to like, you know, optical and x-ray analysis on this. It's just absolutely crazy. I think that's the last in the album, or I'm going a little too fast. All right, so let's go down to uh, let's go down to the microscope for a second. Okay, so we know that we have this Ferb. Let me get in focus. Let me get in frame. So we know we have this. Uh, this Ferb VR, right? This is not the actual Ferb VR. This, you know, I'll get that on screen first. Here's the Ferb VR. All right. right out of the bat, you can already start to see the I.O. pins that are going from the VR microprocessor to a secondary board, which is going to be controlling the eyes and has that interesting EE prom. But let's go full screen. Right? And you can easily, let's get into a better focus, you can easily see that we've got a, a double-sided board here that has SPI, I squared C, you know, the typical microcontroller stuff. Now here's an interesting thing is that the, uh, the I squared C uh, audio chip here, let me see if I can get the, uh, the data sheet that's, I don't think that's something anyone's uh, pulled up before. Yeah, right here, this 10-bit I2C digital analog converter for VCM driver. I found this really interesting because they even went down to uh, figure out what codec that the Furby uses. But has anyone ever tried uh, going directly to the, let's go back to the large. You know, there's, there's an I2C port. You know, this this is where it, this board plugs into. You can see how they specifically mate. Actually, it probably mate. Yeah, it mates like that. But you can you can see how this mates, and we have this I squared C header, and shortly next to it we have this EE prom. So going back to the picture in picture again, I'm curious, I'm going to ask again, why has nobody thought of trying to attack the only writable memory that's that's on here? So can we talk to this memory via I squared C or is it going to be uh, SPI only? All right, so that's one of my questions. All right, so even without having to take your Furby apart, you already have this possible I squared C port that could probably talk to the. Now I did take, I did remove it. Here's the guy. If I if I remember the documentation from Michael's presentation, these are actually in SPI mode. But if you notice, there's a there's a pad right here with the perfect pinout saying, "Hey, um, you know, we can burn our own four meg." 32 megabit EE proms 
flash him and you know put her own uh this is just the graphics and the uh the voice data but you know no one's ever gone that far yet and i have no idea what that guy does yet now uh if we flip it over i have we're going to be looking at the um the graphics controller let me see that's the audio Here we go. 16-bit LCD controller with 2,368 dots. Okay. Now, uh, this basically works straight off of SPI. has, uh, I believe, 256 bytes of onboard memory, which would explain, you know, the byte table layout according to Michael on, you know, why this thing works the way it does. And he has on his... Um, Excuse me a second. On his uh, GitHub repo, he has all the information um, of this microcontroller. You know, 256k word ROM, 4k word SRAM, yada yada yada. I mean, everything you need to know to automatically talk to it. And if you notice again, there's this ICE clock and ICE data, and that's you know a proprietary thing for the Gen Plus micro Gen Plus microcontrollers, which I haven't even dove, gotten into yet. I don't this this like I said, balls deep, balls deep. So talking about the eyes uh, for a second, notice there's an SPI. Let me get a pointy tool. We've got the SPI SDO but why are these two points soldered? SDI and whatever's coming. I mean, did they, like, ground this out at some point? And, uh, you know, here's also another clock. Right protect. There's just some interesting stuff. Like, you know, and the eyes sit on top of this. So my query is, can we create a Furby lobotomizer by hijacking the I squared C port which is located under the right temple and possibly communicate to the EE prom, which if I remember the documentation correctly, I believe it is 2K. Let's go to the uh, EE prom data sheet. Now, Michael said that it was only 256 bytes, but if we go ahead, you know, you know, I'm not trying to contest this guy. This guy knows his shit, you know. But what is this? The uh, 24C02, and we go to 24C02. That's 256 times eight. That's two kilobytes. Not okay. So we got something to work with there. So the question is, um, you know, it does say it has, uh you know, bi-directional and data transfer protocol, as well as two-wire serial interface, which is telling me that, yeah, maybe as long as, you know, on on the PCB-wise, once I start tracing things out, man, no matter what, they just did a horrible job with these graphics. Oh, yay. Um, you know, as, as long as this is connected to the I2C bus, we might be able to... Um, yeah, we might... Yeah, 2K right here yep we might be able to uh possibly talk to the um the onboard ee prom which is where all of behavior the behavior data holds so if all the behavior data holds on here like are you hungry sleepy are you grumpy i i just want access to one bit and that's the bit that basically changes the personality but before we cut and before we go there's one more component and it's just a simple optical encoder uh, encoder encoder the optical encoder is used for the eyelid sensor come on I'm really sorry about this crappy 800 by 600 camera I've got but you gotta work with what you got right but yeah uh, this optical encoder sits um, in the mechanics in order to detect the uh, precise position of the eyes or I should say the eyelids 
And this mask ROM chip, which can be replaced with an 8-pin SOIC 4 meg chip, if you know the mic has already dumped the binary, I'm kind of eager to see if I can burn my own, just like a one-to-one -one copy, and you know populate the uh, the SOIC pads that are right here, in order to see if you know just theoretically, is it possible? So we have a couple of ways into a Furby. We have some physical hacks where we can attack the memory, hopefully via an SP, uh, uh, the I squared C bus. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to latch into the SPI bus and bring a couple of wires out. Um, you have the mask ROM, which you can take out and then put in your own rewritable EE prom or flash memory and see if you can write your own code, and crap's sake, they have programming guides at this point. And, yeah, the uh, eyes itself, in itself, is just a SPI-based um, LCD. So, you know, you might actually be able to just take over that LCD itself. And uh, something I haven't even covered is that, uh, you know, there's a test point here. I've tried to pull it high, pull it low, just throw data at it, and it really doesn't seem to pull the FURB into any kind of test mode. Here is the switch for the mouth sensor that we hopefully have a released video by now. And this is where the ultrasonic sensor sits. This is a piezoelectric uh, transmitter. I, you can hear this thing clicking away, whatever you're doing, any of the, uh, any projects with Haxby, or if you have another Furby, or if you have one of those party rockers. All of which will be coming soon.